hit by the virus, where there are more than 78,000 cases, mostly in the Hubei province. Other harder hit areas include South Korea, Japan, and Italy. And here in Washington, again, still just that one confirmed case. Again, we were the first state in the U.S. to have the confirmed case of coronavirus. Two people are still waiting for results, and more than 350 are under close watch. Starting tomorrow morning, Washington State Public Health Laboratories will start testing samples of coronavirus. Now, the state epidemiologist says there are less than a dozen tests waiting to be done. The state's currently in a containment phase and preparing for what appears to be the inevitable spread of the virus in the United States. Q13's Jennifer Lee is at our live desk tonight. Jen, what are the latest figures in our state? Well, the State Department of Health is reporting, like you guys just said, that more than 300 people in our state are under, under public health supervision. And to go into more detail, that means close contacts of lab-confirmed cases and people who have a recent travel history to China. The state is gearing up for a potential outbreak and recommends people start making plans, too. Washington state health officials say quickly identifying people with the coronavirus will keep it from spreading. We're working hard to keep the virus um, out of Washington and to uh, keep the virus from spreading here. Which is why the state labs have gotten the coronavirus test from the CDC. The tests have been validated and are now ready to run in shoreline. The state epidemiologist says doctors working with people who may have been infected take extraordinary measures to contain it too. To safely do this for a healthcare worker, you would have to gown up with an N95 mask, a face shield, a gown, gloves, and then do the swab. So far, one person in Washington state has been infected, treated, and released from the hospital. A total of 31 people have been tested, most of them testing negative with four people still waiting on results. Gretchen Todd of Zoom Plus Care says families at home need to practice good hand hygiene, washing hands often and keeping them away from the face. We all touch our eyes, we touch our nose, we touch our mouth all day long without ever thinking about it. And so that's the big concern for spreading. The state is already in touch with school systems about potentially closing in the event of an outbreak. Families are being advised to start thinking ahead for child care and teleworking from home. We headed over to Seattle's Chinatown International District. It really sucks to see all the mom and pop shops around here really suffer just due to xenophobia. A neighborhood Manyi Chow has called home since she was a little girl. I've really honestly been like preparing myself for the racism that I've been dealing with and have to deal with. She hopes people will listen to state health officials that say the risk to the general public is still low. It's a beautiful community and I'm really, really grateful to be a part of it. It makes me really sad to see that they're being affected by stories like this and fear mongering. The, the state health labs can run up to 26 samples a day to test for coronavirus. And if those tests are run in the morning, can, we can get those results by 5 o'clock. Jennifer Lee, Q13 News. Jen, thank you. And let's